if you have actually applied for the Navy Fed personal loan, the $50,000 one, and your ass got denied several times, you want to watch this show because I'm going to explain to you some of those hacks that approve you without fail. Okay, those are tips and tricks that we have actually uh, utilized several times, members of our team, but we also advise clients and they got approved. So I want to share th with you today those hacks. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kill Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, RT, or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the $50,000 Navy Fed personal loan hacks that approve you without fail, okay? The whole thing is to give you the hacks that you need to actually get approved, okay? And I want to first talk to you about the overview. So, when we talk about the $50,000 Navy Fed loan, what is it? So, well, it's a loan that actually uh, great that you can use for a lot of things. It depends on uh, you can do for you can do home cons uh, home remodeling. You can actually do debt consolidation. You can actually do a big purchase. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's totally up to you. So, here are the pros and cons of this loan. So, the loan has uh, no origination fee. It offers wide range of loan amounts and repayment terms. We love that. You are able to fund loan. You are able to receive the, pr the loan proceeds the same day. So, Navy Fed is really good good about that and um, the loan offer is co-sign joint and secure loan options okay so this is really good what about the cons well it is exclusive to credit union members okay this is a credit union so you got to be a member you have no option to pre-qualify and there's no rate discount for auto pay so it doesn't matter if you uh, set the, the right pay through your account you're not getting any auto pay discount okay and there's no option to change your payment date so overall this is a great um, loan that actually helps you uh, the loan itself is great for borrowers who are Navy Fed members who want to fund a home improvement project, who have a big purchase, or who are planning to add someone to their loan application or secure the loan. In other words, joint application is really cool. It helps you actually boost your loan approval odds, okay? And so when you think about this, Navy Fed is actually available in all 50 states. That's what we love about this loan. And where Navy Fed stands out is that you have a wide range of loan amounts. So as a borrower, you can choose loan amounts from $250 to $50,000. This is really cool. So if, even if you need a 5,000 or you need 1,000, you can still uh, use that loan. And you can use the loan for emergency repairs in the house or in the basement or in the backyard or whatever, or something larger like a home improvement project, okay? And you can qualify for, you could qualify for a term up to 15 years. So, the, so overall, we're talking about a very good loan, okay? You have 24-7 phone support. That's really great. I want to talk to you about the first hack. So I promise you a few hacks that you can use. The first hack is you want to pre-qualify. Pre-qualification is the first hack. Now, the thing is there is no pre-qualification pre link on the website, right? But what you want to do is, as a member, you just want to be patient. Don't you try to be uh, to uh, rush things. No, you want to work on your credit score. You want to work on your Navy Fed internal score. In the meantime, you want to beef up your uh, your um, NPR, your multi-product relationship with uh, Navy Fed. That's all you got to do. So to pre-qualify for a Navy Fed personal loan, make sure that you know you got to clear your credit uh, credit history. You got to make it positive. And if they ask you if you are lucky enough to get the link. So you, because you got to look at your dashboard when you get a link, you have to supply things like uh, contact information, your social security number, your income, debt and employment data. Oh, yeah, that's important. And you got to really put a, also the desired loan amount and purpose. OK, so what's going to happen is that Navy Fed, when they send you the pre qual offer link, they will actually use they'll use a soft inquiry to see whether you are a good candidate for a loan. OK, so you could pre qualify if your DDI and CUR, so your debt to income ratio and CUR are sufficiently low, this is important, okay? And if you pre-qualify for a Navy Fed personal loan, Navy Fed will provide you an offer that might include an estimated loan amount, very important, 
annual percentage rate and repayment term okay so what i'm trying to see the picture i'm trying to paint here is that whenever you receive a link for it and if you fed a pre-qualification loan i mean for a loan for pre-qualification you never you never 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 ignore it never i don't care if your fico is in 800 or your fico is in 300 it doesn't matter it's, it's a chance you never actually uh, uh, disregard why because it doesn't cost you anything because think about it let's be logical here right it doesn't cost you anything you, you can try it and it doesn't cost you any points on your credit score if you try it it doesn't work out fine okay but you always want to seize any opportunity that navy fed sends you whether it is a credit card pre-approval link or whether whether it is a, a loan pre-approval link it, do, it doesn't matter okay it's all about seizing opportunities seizing all the carrots that life throws at you very important <music> The second hack that you want to use to get this loan is basically to actually uh, parlay your military service into a good position with Navy Fed so that you actually uh, get pre-qualified and, and uh, ultimately actually be approved for the loan, right? I mean, we, everybody knows that Navy Fed is a, is a military financial institution. So the thing here is that you want to actually uh, take advantage of that. Now, with Navy Fed, they have a lot, a lot of opportunities for people who have military service. And they want you to take advantage of military specials. They call it military specials, okay? And it doesn't matter if you're a seasoned service member or a new recruit, okay? They value your service, and I value your service, and we, our team, value your service. God bless you, okay? So as a military, as a, as a seasoned service member, they will offer you extra low rate, loan discount, and other products and resources to lighten up your loan while you're actually... Uh, complementing your busy military life what it is is that you can apply for this over the phone or at a branch so you just want to parlay your military your military background okay you want to tell them hey and whatever it is with it i'm i'm doing act, i'm active duty i'm positioned somewhere overseas or whatever it doesn't matter okay so you can actually boost your chances of being approved for the personal loan the, the navy fed personal loan up to fifty thousand dollars so they have a just make sure you have the active the uh, active duty check-in you got to have that check-in okay and um they they will give you loan discounts of course as part of their military service what they call military specials you have a via home loans they offer via home loans military choice home loans okay that's besides the personal loan okay that i just talked about and uh, so and they help you also navigate life in the military okay so i'm talking about hey from transitioning into and out of the military, out of military life, okay, to being deployed and living overseas. Everybody understands that, and Navy Fed particularly understands that your life is unique, okay? So this is really good. So big decision time, boss, big decision time. If you are a service member or have been a service member, you are active duty or retired, you want to actually um, point that out. You want to use that as a hack to be approved for the $50,000 Navy Fed personal loan. It will work, but make sure you can't do it online. Even if uh, they send you a link, whatever, you want to go to a branch and talk to someone or just uh, pick up the phone and have a conversation. Very important. Now, I want to talk to you about loan repayment. Loan repayment is another hack that people don't know. A lot of people don't know, but we have used that hack for a lot of years now for clients, but also for ourselves. And uh, so basically what it is is that you want to apply for a Navy Fed loan as soon as you have paid down an earlier loan. OK, the loan, the earlier loan can come from Navy Fed or from another institution. See, the thing is that the thing is when you pay down a loan, Something fantastic happened to your FICO score, right? We're talking about a jump on the FICO score. Something fantastic happened on your DTI, right? And something fantastic happens also on your CUR. So basically, the, this is the this is the good time to apply for a Navy Fed personal loan if you so want. Because once you pay down debt, let's face it, Grandpa, I'm talking to you. Grandma, I'm talking to you. Cuz, niece, are you there? Or I just, once you pay down the debt, what happens? 
Talk to me about that. You are in a stronger financial position, right? Because the money you've been putting down towards monthly payments becomes available for other users, right? This is what I was talking to you earlier about um, the DTI going up because your debt payments are actually work, are going down. So when you divide the, a lower numerator by a, a static denominator, what's going to happen is that the amount, the percentage will go down. And that's what you want, right? You want the TTI to go down. You want a TTI in the neighborhood of 30% or even 25%, okay? So this is really good. So whenever you pay down a, a Navy Fed loan or you pay down another institution's loan, you can apply for a Navy Fed personal loan. And one thing I want to say here, and so how do you do it? Well, you just have to plan, okay? So let's say, let's say we are in December, and you have paid down your, your debt, your, your loan, you have made the last loan amount, okay, L the last loan payment in December, you can apply for a new NFCU loan around February. Just give it a month, okay, give it a month of 45 days and whatnot, and you, you can apply again, okay. So here is a winner strategy for you, a winner strategy. You want to pay down your debt as substantially as possible. And once you do that, you clean, you clean your... Uh, you clean your, your record and what will happen here is that you want to wait for the the lender to report your down payment your payment your full payment to the cre credit bureaus or where it came to Experian, Equifax and, uh, and TransUnion so that this could be reflected on your FICO score and once you see that bump on your FICO score that's when you apply for a Navy Fed personal loan. <music> I want to talk to you about another hack and we love this hack this hack works fantastically this is high income so what happens here is that you know when you were a member right let's say you just started navy fed membership five years ago or or 10 years ago and back then you were making a lot of money right you were making probably 20 grand a, a year or 30 grand a year and that that's kind of cool i'm not saying those who are making it that that's a bad what i'm what i'm trying to say is that Ideally and logically, after 10 years, you probably are making more money, right? So you want to update your NFCU account with your rosier income information. Because I'm talking to you. Dad, I'm talking to you. Mom, I'm talking to you. See, the thing here is that a lot of folks, a lot of Navy Fed members, they make the mistake of going through life with uh, good things happening to them and not updating their account. You got to update that account. You go to your dashboard and put whatever... Uh, goodie whatever goodie the uh, the universe is throwing at you okay have you have a have you had an increase in, in your regular pay have you had a solid bonus at work talk to me about that okay have you started a new higher paid job okay this is kind of cool because it's important to understand that navy fed's algorithm constantly continually crawls members data and if it sees if it sees changes those changes will be part of uh the uh the pre-qualification um links this into you whether it is for credit cards or loan amounts okay because maybe if it doesn't know what's going on in your life it's you it's your responsibility it is your obligation to let them know very important okay and while we are we're at it make sure that you consider direct deposit so you can have a part of uh, the full amount or part of uh, your salary into your Navy Fed account. So those are little gems that I want to drop. I wanted to drop today to help you report higher income to your Navy Fed uh, dashboard. Okay, very important. So here are a few pro tips. Of course, I'm talking about an increase in income, right? Now, the increase in income can also come from a, a business. If you are doing a side gig, right? Let's say you are running a business and you are, or you have uh, some sources of passive income, whatever it is, anytime there is a bump in your income, in other words, there is a bump in your net worth, you want to report that to Navy Fed so that your, your profile is seen favorably by the algorithm. The thing here is that they don't do, uh, they don't do uh, reviews of accounts manually. No, there is an algorithm that does every, that, that does the, pre-filtering and once the pre-filtering is done that's when a human being will look at your account and make sure that you know you're really doing good boss i'm still talking to you about the navy fed personal loans that actually approve you without fail right now i want to talk to you about the fifth actually the fifth uh, hack which is really really important and um you have a low CUR. CUR stands for credit utilization ratio. And this works very important, very, very magnificently. 
you want to reduce your credit utilization i don't care how you do it right you know i don't care if you are see the thing is you got to reduce your 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 spending patterns that's what it is right don't charge too much on credit cards start using cash i know we are in a society unfortunately where people are are being convinced that credit using credit cards is good it's good as long as you can pay you can actually pay the full balance at the end of the month so when you have a situation where you are actually charging more than you could pay you have you enter a vicious circle right i mean don't you don't you be a regular person like me and you're trying to live like a celebrity what's up with that hmm what's up with that hey 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 Hey, so thing is that you want to actually uh, be in a situation where you are reducing your credit utilization. Pay down your balance early, okay? Decrease your spending. Those are important, okay? And uh, you want to pay off your credit card balances with a personal loan if possible. Not necessarily the Navy Fed personal loan, but maybe you have another credit, credit union loan or not another um, personal loan from a bank. That's totally possible. The whole thing is to play around um, the debt consolidation uh this consolidation offers from financial institutions so you are gradually bringing down your credit card balances so when we talk about credit utilization we are speaking about your open balances on two types of financial products we are talking about credit card and line of credit and those two are revolving types of credit credit okay revolving credit it's important and uh, think about increasing your credit limit also Oh yeah, you know if maybe uh, if, if Chase uh, if a Chase cre if you have a trade a Chase cre credit card and they started you at uh, five thousand, guess what, boss? Ask them to raise it to to eight thousand. Yeah, if they could do that, you will see that without you decreasing your balance, what will happen here is that your uh, your overall credit utilization ratio, which is uh, your open balance in proportion to your total credit limits, will go down. Okay, and this is this is why sometimes some people open a new credit card. You know, they open a new credit card that gave them uh, extra uh, extra bandwidth on the credit on their credit spectrum. So you you have the opportunity again to raise, and that's the goal. You want to raise the overall credit limit. And the last thing I want to say is don't close unused cards. If a card is sitting in your wallet for a while and you're not using it, as long as they're not charging you any interest rate, they're not charging you any annual fees, they're not charging you any quote unquote subscription fees or whatever, keep it. All right, I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about the $50,000 Navy Fed personal loan hacks that approve you no matter what. And I want to talk to you now about a high FICO. Okay, and so this is, uh, this is important and this is actually our last hack. So if you have a high FICO, you want to parlay that into a Navy Fed. Of course, if you need the loan, having a, a high FICO is good. You want to show that you have a higher than average credit score. What I'm trying to say is life is not a, a very silent uh, stream of uh, uh, silent stream, right? Things happen. You started probably a few years ago at 540 and you are now at 740. Guess what? If you need the loan, it's time. It's about time to actually apply for that loan, okay? And uh, basically, you can uh, you can actually uh, parlay again. You can use that to apply. Now, if you don't have a high high FICO score now, it's about time to work on it because by the time you apply, let's say you want to you you know we are in January, right? You want to apply for a new loan around a new a new NFCU loan around uh, July. That's six months, okay? Six solid months. So you want to work for things you want to actually uh, you want to work on things you want to pay credit card balances strategically okay you want to ask for a higher credit limit you want it to become a, an authorized user yeah if your credit is thin okay if it's thin the cool thing is you are realizing hey listen i'm i just got some work i need to bust my ass here so what do i do i need to become an authorized user if i have a, a relative who is re who is doing better why not and pay your bills on time 
okay pay your bills on time don't you have a, you know you know we're living in in a modern era of uh, technology being around us all the time and you have a reminders on your phone so use that use use those reminders to let to let yourself know when you have to pay your bills so that you don't have late payments on your credit report okay dispute credit report errors if you see them you know you can use annualcreditreport.com to actually request uh, your free copies of your credit reports you want to uh, dissect them and if there are errors hey listen you want to dispute those with uh, with uh, data furnishers the financial institutions who provided that data in the first place and also with the, with the CRAs the three CRAs the three credit reporting agencies okay and uh, last but not the least you want to deal with collections accounts okay things happen and the whole thing is you want to actually make sure that collections are actually out of your credit or out of your credit score no listen those things happen people go through life whatever but you have to use you have to do whatever it is you have to use a used a used uh, a secured credit card or you can get trying to get credit for rent and utility payments we have done a series on uh organization that provide that kind of service in other words reporting your rent and utility payments to the credit bureau and also last but not the least you want to add to your credit mix okay you want to have maybe uh hmm, you want to have loans but also lines of credit also credit cards so you have different types of uh of a credit products <music> Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about the $50,000 Navy Fed personal loan hacks that approve you without fail. So I talk, I give you an overview about uh, the whole thing. And then I talked about pre-qualification, military service, loan repayments, high income, low CUR, and high FICO. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate that. God bless you. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.